Hey guys, so in this presentation we're going to be doing a quick question and answer video for the high-low method. So we're going to be doing a high-low uh, method question and let's start off on it. Let me just use a different color since we got green and orange dominating my board. Let's use, I don't know, what can we use? We'll use blue, I guess. Alright. So, first of all, we look at, we have two different uh, columns. One is the total cost of trucking freight, and the second column is kilometers traveled. Now, cost is going to be your, your dependent, while kilometers traveled is going to be your independent, because there is no cost without an amount actually traveled. So this is going to be your, your x values, these are your y values, when you're going to calculate slope. Okay, now since this is the calculation of the cost function using the high-low method, it's the high-low activity method. So always remember that. And by activity, that means you have to look at the activity over here, not the different costs when picking out your high and low points. So let's find our high points. Our high point is here. That is our high point. And our low point is right here, which is 300,000. And your respective y values are 24,000 and 28,000. All right. So now we're going to have to work out a cost function, which is y is equal to vx plus f, y is total cost, v is variable cost, x is our cost driver, um, and f is our total fixed cost. So let's first go about uh, finding out what our slope is, since that is what we're going to need. So we're going to be doing, if you remember, slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is equal to 28,000 minus 24,000 divided by 400,000 minus 300,000. And that should give us 4,000 divided by 100,000 is 4, 4 cents of variable cost. So that is our slope, and our slope is v. So now we can have this equation, which is y is equal to 0.04x plus f. All right, let's finish her off, and uh, we can use one of these total costs and plug it into y, but we have to use uh, its respective cost driver or x value. So let's say we use 24,000. Uh, we're going to plug 24,000 right on the left side as y because y is total cost. We'll have our slope, and for our x value, we're going to use 300,000 since that is the respective amount of kilometers for a cost of 24,000. And we're going to have f, since we're solving for f. Uh, we rearrange it. We can say 24,000 minus 0 0.04 times 300,000 is equal to f. And that should be, let's see what that is, 4 times 300,000 is 12,000. So our fixed cost is equal to 12,000. And like we have it, now we have our cost function, which is y is equal to 0.04x plus 12,000. And if you were to look at this on a graph, we would have 12,000 starting somewhere up there on your y-axis, since that is the y-intercept. And for every additional unit that we sell, we're going to have a cost of four cents. So it's going to go up very, very gradually. And that is our cost function. All right. In another video, we'll be doing a different question. 
I'm going to be probably doing a lot of these videos just to kind of review some of the topics we've learned, and in this case, it is the high-low method. Alright, see you guys.